Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how to create this realistic foggy mountain watercolor illustration in the app Ibis Paintings. I am going to tell you in detail about the techniques I used to make it more textured and realistic. So let's get started. First, I'm going to use the app IBS Paintex and I'm going to make uh, on the background. So the background I'm using is drawing paper rough 3. So this gives you a realistic watercolor texture. So then I'm using the brush watercolor edge 3. First, I'm going to create the mountain. For the mountain in a watercolor style, uh, to create that, I'm using the laser tool and this watercolor edge brush. So, what I'm doing here is I'm not making more ups and downs, uh, 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 you know, uh, very rough mountain ranges like uh, design. So, for that, I just using laser tool and made that and using the brush and just you know making continuous strokes one by over uh, one over another to create uh, something uh, texture like this and to create some uh, watery uh, texture i'm using smudge tool uh, in that smudge tool i'm using watercolor real smudge so using the watercolor uh, smudge tool i'm going to drag uh, pull down the color from the uh, stroke which i have made already and to blend them better i'm using watercolor uh, point brush to add a little more texture and i drag the colors from the top to the bottom really well using the smudge tool so this is the first range of mountain and again i'm going to create another range of mountain which is uh, uh, like which is far away from the um, you know the big mountain and some between the two mountains it's going to look like really really foggy so we want that theme so i'm going to do the same technique same procedure here using the laser tool and creating irregular mountain like structure with um, roughness more roughness and using the breast uh, watercolor edge and then watercolor point and creating the colors and that watercolor texture and then to pull them down like a uh, uh, watery uh, painting i'm adding uh, i'm using smudge tool uh, to drag them well to the bottom so that it looks really watery uh, we didn't use like thick watercolor paint so we want it we want it like really watery like texture something like that so i'm doing that so then i'm going to uh, using the eraser, airbrush eraser, I'm erasing a little bit here and there to make it a uh, little more irregular and add some texture to it. So the mountain range is ready. So now I'm going to draw the trees. For the trees, I'm using the same brush for the entire illustration. The main brush I'm using is watercolor edge. So here also I'm using the watercolor edge and adding strokes one by one, one over another. It's creating like this Christmas tree. To add multiple colors, I didn't use any other color. Instead, I just reduced the opacity. Well, the main thing with watercolor edge brush is if we are using the same color in the same opacity and if you are adding one stroke over the another the two strokes blend and there will be no like differentiation between these strokes so to make differentiation and add more details you can just reduce the opacity if you don't want to change the color so that is why i have done here so i want more trees all over there here and here and there so for that i just duplicated that one tree that i have drawn and make it in um, preferring it wherever i want and grouping it into a single um, group of trees in a single layer and then i'm just duplicating that group of trees again using duplicate layer tool and placing wherever i want uh, to you know 
creating continuous you know um, lines of trees something like that so here you can see i just created three layers of trees with you know one at the left one at the right and one at the uh, you know top uh, i mean bottom most so uh, to make it clear to uh, teach you i just had hidden the other two layers of trees and performing the same procedure we, which I have done already for the mountain range. So what I'm doing is using the smudge tool. I'm just dragging the color of the trees very mildly, and if you feel it looks really dark, uh, very smudgy, you can erase a little bit here and there or more of it using the airbrush eraser and then drag them again pull it down so that it looks really watercolor and a uh, little bit you know transparent something like that so if wherever if you want you know uh, you don't want it to be more dark uh, thicker something like that then use the airbrush eraser erase them a little bit with the uh, you know uh, how to say you know, like reduced opacity something like that and then drag them again using smart tool so that you can obtain whatever result you want so here for all the layers i am making it as multiply because usually uh watercolor painting looks better with the multiply blending mode so i made everything as a multiply blending mode and now at the uh, top i mean bottom most layer i am using add brush uh capsoid 20 percentage to draw the sun which is like a smudgy sun as well so here I draw the sun using yellow color and the top at the top most layer i'm using the watercolor edge brush which i have used already to draw the birds i'm using black color for this so i'm not adding more more something like that. i'm just adding trees here and i mean uh, birds here and there something like that so here is the final look it looks really you know watercolor textured and with uh, you know, highly watered uh, watercolor so thank you for watching if you like please subscribe to my channel